Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 47 in chapter 2. In this one, it tells us two girls, Mary and Sally. So this is Mary, this is Sally. And they are running, right? But Mary is 22 meters from the finish line. So Mary is there, there. So Mary is there. So in this one, we can use this blue point to present Mary. So that means the total distance the Mary need to move is 22 meters, agree? And she has a speed of 4 meters per second. So this one, the Mary, the initial velocity for Mary is 4 meters per second. And it's 5 meters behind Sally. So 5 meters behind Sally, that means the total displacement the Sally need to move is 17 meters. Do you agree? Because 22 subtract 5, 17 meters. Who has a speed of 5 meters per second? That means the initial velocity for Sally is 5 meters per, per second. There is a, so 5 meters uh, per second. And Sally thinks she has an easy win and so during the remaining portion of the uh, computation, she, did, she just decelerates at a constant rate of 0 0.5 meter per second square to the finish line. What does that sentence mean? It tells us the Sally. We can see when Sally comes, when we look at the Sally's eyes, she is just lead the Mary 5 meters and she also moves faster than Sally. Do you agree? Because Sally moves at 5 meters per second and the Mary is 4 meters per second. So, the Sally think she will get an easy win. That means, so she just uh, uh, moves slowly and the acceleration is uh, 0 point, negative 0 0.5 meter per second square. And there we must uh, put the negative sign there to tell us the acceleration is pointing to the negative direction. The Sally slows down. Uh, what constant acceleration does Mary now need during the remaining portion of the race if she wishes to cross the finish line side by side with the Sally? There, um, cross the finish line side by side with Sally. What does that mean? That means when they reach the finish line, the time taking is same. Do you agree? So this t should equal to this t. And then, what is the time Mary need? So in this problem, it's simple. So first thing, we write the displacement function with the time for Mary and Sally. Then we can see how we solve the problem. First of all, we look at Sally. For Sally, we know the total displacement he moved is 17 meters. We know its initial velocity, do you agree, 5 meter. And we know the acceleration for Sally is negative 0 0.5. When we input the known quantities inside, it's very easy for us to solve this time taking. It's 4.34 seconds. That means if Sally just uh, moves in this way and then keeps the uh, uh, initial velocity and the acceleration negative 0 0.5 meter per second square, 4.34 seconds later, Sally will arrive the finish line. And then we can write the displacement function for the Mary. So for Mary, we know the uh, this total displacement is 22, and the initial velocity is 4 meters per second. And also, we, we know the time taking. So we input the time taking inside. So only unknown is acceleration for Mary. In this one, we can solve that the acceleration for Mary is 0. 0.5 meter per second square. So in this problem, uh, I suggest you to draw a picture to understand what happens and list all the known quantities. And then you write the equations for the displacement with time, then everything is solved. So from this problem, we can learn something, right? In some cases, even we think we will get an easy win, but we still need to work hard because you don't know what others do. Maybe others work much harder, harder, harder. They get higher acceleration than you. So 
we need to take care all the times. And that is, thank you.